Hello everybody, this is the Love Yourself Guru and welcome to the Love Yourself TV. Today we're going to be doing a poem that I love. It's one of my childhood poems. It's called Footprints in the Sand and it helped me through a lot of challenges in my life. So this video is for anybody who's going through any challenging, uh, challenges at this moment in time uh, in your life. Um, if you love poetry and if, or if you love self-development, please stay tuned and, and, and watch this video all the way through. I'm going to read the poem out first and then we're just going to discuss um, a few thoughts uh, about it and about how I actually um, tackle um, or uh, perceive challenges. So let's begin. Footprints in the sand. One night a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking along the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to him and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand. He noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that it was it happened at the very, uh, the, he also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in his life. This really bothered him and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way, but I have noticed that during the most troublesome times of my life, there is only one set of footprints. I don't understand why when I needed you most, you would leave me. The Lord replied, my son, my precious child, I love you. I would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you see only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. Isn't that the most beautiful, beautiful poem ever? And so this poem, let me tell you how I came across this poem. So when I was young, I absolutely loved my grandmother, God rest her soul, still my favorite human being in the whole world, God rest her soul, but very beautiful inside and out. And I used to go and stay the weekend with her. And she used to go for her afternoon naps. And then when she would wake up, she would freshen up. And on her dressing room table, there was um, this poem and she actually picture framed it. It was in a, it was in a, it was in a frame. And um, I would, my, my eyes would always meet this, this poem. And as I got older, I would uh, read it and discuss it with her. And I believe there's a reason for everything. I don't believe it was by chance that I came um, through this particular poem in my childhood. And it was like ingrained in my mind. Every time things got tough, when I was getting, when I got older, it would always pop in my mind and calm me down and put everything into perspective. Um, and that's what, how I believe that when I said that, um, I don't believe that anything comes by chance. I really don't. I think anything that you come across in your life is always good. It's always helping you. It will or, or will always help. Will help you or will help you in the future. It's always a step. It will always a step in in the right direction. And so, um, so. So this is a message I took from it and I held on to it throughout my life and I wanted to share it with beautiful you. So when you're going through challenging times, this is what I want you to be aware of. I want you to be aware of how your mind works. Your mind will always, if it will put you in a state of panic and that's basically how it functions. If you lead your mind to its own devices, it likes to put you in a state of unease. But once you are in charge of your life and you start loving yourself and controlling and directing your mind, you're playing a different game. You, once you learn that you are the observer of the mind and the thoughts that it throws at you are not you, they're just thoughts. And then you learn, you, you affirm different thoughts and you learn how to control and direct your mind, then miracles, God willing, start to happen. So if your mind, if you know how to direct it and control it, miracles happen. If you don't, it causes more pain. And so when, like I said, when you love yourself, you really start to pay attention to your mind and you really try to direct it. And you'll realize that there's always a reason for challenging times. And this is what I found. And everybody who's going through a challenging time at this moment, please listen to this. This is what I found. Challenging times, please don't worry. Challenging times are a sign for change and new beginnings, God willing. So if you're going through a difficult time, 
Know that please, God, God willing, you will get through it, God willing. You will come out stronger, God willing. And it's a sign for change and new beginnings. And you'll also recognize once you start to really understand, love yourself and understand your mind, that there's nothing to fear ever. And the reason why there's nothing to fear is because you're never alone. Go back to that poem. You're never alone. Your creator is carrying you every step of the way. You, Your creator is closer to you than your jugular vein. You're, you're in the best of hands, you're in the best hands, you're in, your creator is carrying you, looking after you, with you every step away. The creator who created Pluto and Mars and seven billion people and things that we don't even know about, you're in your creator's hands. So automatically you feel safe and secure that God willing, you're in the best of hands. All is well, all is well, all is well. And so also, um, as I went through challenges in my life, I, 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 like I said, I realized that challenges were a sign for change and new beginnings. I'm safe and secure. I stopped believing my mind or safe and secure because my creator is, is with me. But I also started to integrating, integrating new positive thoughts. Um, and so I started to affirm that all is well, all is well. So every time challenges came, or even challenges come now, I always affirm that all is well, all is well, all is well. New beginnings, new beginnings are, are, are manifesting God willing. I affirm that all is well, and then, and then, and when you affirm that all is well, you can actually, you, you take a calmer approach. You're almost like, the, you, you, you take a wise perspective to what's going on, all is well, God willing. And then I always ask myself two questions. So number one, you affirm that all is well. Number two, ask myself two questions. What do I need to learn? And what changes do I need to make? Now, even if you don't know the answers to that, the fact that you're asking yourself those questions means that you are open and receptive to, 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 to beautiful miracles unraveling in front of your eyes. And you're open and receptive to being productive, to, to, to changing, God willing, the situation. And even if, even let's say you can't say change the situ situation, the fact that you are open and receptive to God willing, new lessons and, and, and beautiful and changes that, that probably need to happen in your life then um, the ride is gonna be God willing, easy, please God. And the lessons and the changes will come to you. Please God, please God, please God. Easier than if you believed your mind and you were in a state of fear and panic when the challenges come your way, if you know what I mean. And everything, I promise you with the experience I've learned that everything unravels when and how it should. So so please, if you're this, the message honestly for this video is if you're going through a, a, a challenging time, number one, know that your creator is with you every single step of the way and is carrying you every single day. You're in the safest of, hand, in safest of hands. You will get through this, God willing. And often challenges are, it's a sign for change and new beginnings. God willing, change and new beginnings are manifesting God willing all is well there's something that you need to learn uh what do i need to learn and changes that need to be made which will unravel as you actually as uh, throughout this challenge and throughout the next stage of your life and i love you loads i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed um i'm, I'm doing it um kindly click on the subscribe button and click on the like button if you like the video. I hope to see you in the next video. Have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing day. I love you loads.